two workers walked into the <laughs> had been alive with the sounds of squawking birds and howling monkeys. But now all was quiet as the creatures watched the two people and wondered why they had come. The boss stopped and pointed to a great K-pop tree. Then she left. The man took the axe he carried and struck the trunk of the tree. Whack, whack, whack. The sounds of the blows rang through the forest. The wood of the tree was very hard. Chop, chop, chop. The man wiped off the sweat that ran down his face and neck. Whack, chop, whack, chop. Soon the man grew tired. He sat down to rest at the foot of the great K-pop tree. Before he knew it, the heat and hum of the forest had lulled him to sleep. A bee buzzed in the sleeping man's ear. and I fly from tree to tree and flower to flower collecting pollen. In this way I pollinate the trees and flowers throughout the rainforest. You see, all living things depend on one another. Senor, you must not cut down this tree. We have flown over the rainforest and seen what happens once you begin to chop down the trees. Where once there was life and beauty, only black and smoldering ruins remain. The jaguar had been sleeping along a branch in the middle of the tree. Now she leapt down and padded silently over to the sleeping man. She growled in his ear, Senor, the Cape Hawk tree is home to many birds and animals. If you cut it down, where will I find my dinner? Two porcupines swung down from branch to branch and whispered to the man. Sloth had begun climbing down from the canopy when the men first appeared. Only now did she reach the ground. <coughs> Senor, how much is beauty worth? Can you live without it? If you destroy the beauty of the rainforest, on what would you feast your eyes? A child from the Yanomamo 
tribe who lived in the rainforest knelt over to the sleepy man. Senor, when you awake, please look upon us all with new eyes. The man awoke with a start. Before him stood the rainforest child, and all around him staring were the creatures who depended upon the great K-pop tree. What wondrous and rare animals they were! The man looked about and saw the sun streaming through the canopy. Spots of bright light glowed like jewels amidst the dark green forest. Strange and beautiful plants dangled in the air. The man smelled the fragrant perfume of their flowers. He felt the steamy mist rising from the forest floor. But he heard no sound, for the creatures were strangely silent. The man stood and picked up his axe. He swung back his arm as though to strike the tree, but suddenly he stopped. He turned and looked at the animals and the child hesitated. Then he dropped the axe and walked out of the rainforest. <laughs>